Your attention, please. Tonight marks a milestone. These two are about to eclipse their previous record of six months of marriage and enter uncharted waters. Jackson's about to go where no Muse brother or J-Lo <laughs> has ever gone before. And so, I would like to propose a toast to my big brother and to his lovely wife for setting such a great example of what a wonderful marriage should be. And may you forever be happy. Aww. Cheers! Kiss, 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 kiss! Finally get to hang with the muse boys. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's too bad you're going to Hawaii, Jackie. You're gonna miss my party. I'm unveiling my new name. <laughs> I'm gonna go join the ladies. <laughs> Bro, what's going on with you? You look like you could use a friendly ear. <sighs> no. I could use a friendly wife. <laughs> and you and Ryan are in love. You're the most in love couple I know. I mean, Paula and I talk about how sickening it is all the time. <laughs> yeah, so do me and Coco. <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, just making an observation. <laughs> you know, Coco's sister is becoming so annoying. You would think her friendship with Paula would have a positive effect on her. <laughs> so what's going on with you and Ryan? She's hated me ever since she caught me in that hotel room with Daphne. Oh, what hotel room? You cheated on Ryan with your ex? No, I didn't cheat. I went to Daphne's family reunion. Okay, did you hear what you just said? <laughs> what the hell did you let me make a toast to your love or if you hate each other? Because we're fake. Watch this. <laughs> hey, baby, I love you. Hey, honey, love you more. <laughs> I get to hang with the girls today. <laughs> so, what do we talk about? Hmm? Clothes? Jewelry? Why the hell we always hang out at the mezzo? <laughs> okay, now I know why I'll never do this again. <laughs> okay, what's going on? I thought things were getting better with you and Jackson. No. I can't get that image of him wearing that green t-shirt, taking a family photo with that tired school mom hanging all over him out of my head. Listen, honey, in the grand scheme of marriage, this was a minor infraction. I think you need to pick your battles. Would you rather be right or happy? Go ahead, pick. No, no, no. I'm not falling for this again, Coco, because no matter which one I pick, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> well, then if you don't want to be happy, what are you complaining about? Okay, I'll be happy. I'm so happy we're going on this trip. Yeah, we really needed this time to reconnect. Like Nigel said, we're entering new territory. Yeah, this is where the hard work begins. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell, what do you know? It's Schnuckums. What a pleasant surprise. And in first class, no less. What, are you moonlighting as an air marshal? <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> Pleasure to see you again, Ryan. Derek? Hope the gallery is pleased with my redesign of Jackson's redesign. <laughs> but then they must be. They didn't fire me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Don't let them get to you. Man. Hey, this is our time. vacation, baby. Well, who was it? It's not important. <laughs> well, if it's not important, then you can tell me who it was. All right, can we not do this? It was Daphne, wasn't it? Look, I, I don't know why she's calling me. I told her to never call me again. Oh, come on, but come on, come on, baby, baby. Okay, look. <sighs> look, we just made up, okay? Well, let, let it go. Certainly will. But 
What are you doing? Don't, don't be silly, baby. Put the bat down. Come on. Okay, okay, look. Let's talk about this for a minute, all right? Just... I want to get off this plane. Excuse me. Right, please. You're doing it again. Doing what? I'm not the one who's afraid to let go of his ex. Look, this isn't about Daphne at all, and you know it. <sighs> Ryan, if you walk off this plane, you'll be walking out on our marriage. Just like you did last time. Let me go. But... <sighs> oh, it's a game we play. <laughs> yeah, she'll be back. I don't think so, honey, unless, of course, she's got wings. <laughs> you know, beautiful, I've always believed that the races should unite as one. Is that so? So how about a little affirmative action in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. So you're a racist and a sexist, and you want me to go to the bathroom with you. You're right, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's start over. Hey, brown sugar, I'm okay, a recruiter no. for the mile high. No, 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 no. I've had it. Thank you. Excuse me. That's right. Don't touch. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Is anyone sitting there? Um, <clears throat> no. Great. Because I can't take that jerk another second. Thank you. Okay. Ah, I'm Naomi. Jackson. Nice to meet you. I really appreciate this. And don't worry, I'm not one of those people who talks through the entire flight. <laughs> I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Unless, of course, I get nervous, which I usually do when I fly, and then I talk more. But not enough to annoy you the way I'm probably doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk time's over. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Periwinkle. <gasps> my good luck word. Yeah, it calms me down, relaxes me. I like the way it sounds. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just want to get this out of here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I see you traveling with your own portable movie theater. Yes, it takes my mind off the fact that we are defying all laws of physics by being 30,000 feet in the air. <laughs> well, actually, it's the laws of physics that allow us to be 30,000 feet in the air. Well, actually, it's these little bottles of Jim Beam that keep me in the air. <laughs> yeah. Do you want one? Oh, no, thank you. I'd like to stay sober just in case I need to find my way to the emergency exit. Oh, emergency exit? Yep. At 30,000 feet in the air? Good luck with that. Okay, I have one. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Okay. Salud. Salud. over and over again, like, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be in Hawaii? Oh, nonsense, look around. These people are only concerned with drinking away their own problems. Hey, girl, what you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be getting laid in Hawaii? Hey, what are you doing here? Yeah, thought you were supposed to be getting laid in Hawaii. OK, I'm going to say this once, and that's it. Jackson is on his way to Hawaii. I decided to stay. I'm not speaking to him right now. End of story. No, the end of the story is when you pay the bill for that sham of a luau we threw you. <laughs> Let's go, Nigel. Don't worry, honey. You made the right decision. Besides, my party's going to be a whole lot more fun than your honeymoon could ever have been. Oh, give it a rest, Omar. Coco? Lean back. <laughs> Don't be mad at me because you can't find a man. Bitch. Heifer. Ladies, 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 please. Skank. Poochie. Whore. OK, I'll give you that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm peeping your physiology. For some reason, I have an urge to take out a pen and write, get well soon. 
Somebody take that lady's car key so she's plastered. I guess next you're gonna tell me she wants her mummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's not funny. <laughs> My name is Travis Bird. I'm Ryan Muse. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, how do you know Omar? Oh, he rear-ended me. <laughs> no, it, it, it was a traffic accident. <laughs> Omar was uninsured and broke, so he offered to pay me in his artwork. So I am now the single largest collector of Omar originals in the whole world. <laughs> so you want to buy a painting? <laughs> uh, what's wrong with you? Get a room. Gabrielle, don't you dare get a room. What are you doing hopped up with that serial killer? He's not a serial killer. And you are not my mother, you're my sister. What does it matter? As long as you live under my roof, you live by one thing, Coco's law. No, Coco. Look, you can tell me what to do at work. You can try to tell me what to do at home. But as far as I know, this is Omar's place. So back the hell off. Come on, baby. Attention, s'il vous plaît. Attention. Now, my children, is the time that I reveal my new name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> Jerome? I got dressed up for Jerome? <sighs> so what'd you think of the movie? Hello? Oh. Sorry. I got a lot on my mind. Good listener, non-judgmental, and free of charge. No. I'd rather not talk about it. I understand. You want to be left alone. Cone of silence. <laughs> you should smile more. Well, I've had a rough day. Mm. Yeah, I was supposed to be on my way to a conference slash honeymoon, but um, my slash honeymoon stormed off the plane. Is that the lady who almost knocked me down as I was boarding? That's the one. So what happened? A lack of communication. <laughs> Sorry, it's the recycled cabin air. <sighs> Look, it's a long story. Well, according to my watch, we've got Three hours and 26 minutes. <gasps> Assuming we don't go down in a fiery crash. <laughs> okay! I've had it with Omar's house of freaks. <sighs> Especially that weird plaster guy that wants me to show him houses. As if he could afford a new property, I could show him. Actually, maybe he can. <laughs> Omar told me that weird plaster guy is actually a renowned artist that was featured in Forbes. What? Really? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, honey, do you mind if I get plastered? Why not? I am. <coughs> Nigel, have you seen my sister? Yeah. She's out there on the dance floor with tattoo. It looks like she's about to make you an aunt. <laughs> oh, wait, we have to go out there and break them up. Me? Why? Because she won't listen to me. Please, Nigel. I've never asked you for anything. Oh, come on, Coco. That's not true. You asked me for directions. You asked me for free dental advice uh, to keep Paul out the meds. Just go out there and save my sister, please. I so cold, turn your head to stone. as a rock. Coco probably had a lot more back before she was grown. I'm sure. Excuse me, can I cut in? Hey, 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 hey. Fernando, Fernando, Fernando. Fernando. It's okay. He's just a friend, okay? Baby, baby, why don't you go get me a drink? Are we dancing or standing? Okay, uh... All right, we're dancing. We're dancing. <laughs> uh, look, look, Gabrielle, your uh, your sister's concerned about you. 
Is that why you're here? No, no, no. no listen, I'm concerned about you too. I just think you should be with somebody that's more your type. And what is my type? Well, I don't know. But somebody that could talk might be nice. <laughs> So, any suggestions, Dr. Mills? Oh, hey, I thought you left. Well, it's not from lack of trying. Okay, listen, I need your opinion. As you know, I am the world's largest collector of Omar originals, originals in, in the, the world. world. Yes. <laughs> I would trade them all for this painting right here. Omar seems to go on to a whole different level with this piece. You agree? No. Because Omar didn't paint. I did. What do you know? Talented and beautiful. What's it called? Our love is here to stay! <laughs> So I walk into the hotel room to find him wearing the family reunion t-shirt and kissing his ex-fiancee. And he says I overreacted. It sounds like you underreacted to me. So when I get married, our relationship will be based on a foundation of mutual trust, which is impossible if you continue to dabble in the past. You did the right thing by getting off that plane. Finally, a man who gets it. You, you who? Brian? Brian! Hey, listen, if you see Nigel, will you tell him I'll be outside drying? So, Travis, how bad did Omar bang up your car? Because I could sure use a ride home. Bad enough that I had to buy a new one. <laughs> Let's go. Doesn't she realize that what you did for your ex was out of a sense of responsibility? Well... You are an honorable guy. And that's what most women are looking for. I was just doing the right thing. Yeah. Look, you know what? I'm not a psychologist. But, uh, I have seen a few. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing with Daphne is a smokescreen. Ryan is a commitment phobe with abandonment issues, and she wanted you to come running after her. Exactly. Exactly. And I didn't. And you were right. <laughs> Break the cycle, break the pain. Break the pain. Break it. Break the pain. Break it. Break it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You know, finally a woman that gets it. Jackson, you okay? What? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? I left your phone in my car. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Good night. Who is it? Excuse me. Who is it? I've got this feeling. I think you've got it. I'm not giving up. I've got to know you. Where have you been? 